Hi, I'm Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ and today in this tutorial we will create a PayPal donation button using the WP eStore plugin. On completion of this tutorial, I will have created something similar to this following page. It will include a blurb about why we need the donation followed by a donate button. I'll just walk you through the steps of what actually the donate button does. So if we click on donate, this will take us directly to a PayPal portal where we can choose how much we'd like to donate. So today to show you, I'm going to donate the minimum, which is $1. And so 1.00 and I'm going to donate. Log in. And next. And we can donate. So now that you understand how the donate button works, we'll create our own. So you'll need to go to the WPE store, add edit products, and you'll be brought to this page where you'll need to give your product a name. So mine's going to be donate for seriously ill children. And then you'll need to give your product a price. If you set the price to zero, which I will do for this demonstration, it allows the customers to specify the donation they would like to pay. Otherwise, you can set a fixed donation amount. Now that we've given it a product name and a product price, we will just need to scroll down. You can add some additional product details if you choose, the description, an image. I'm going to just scroll down to the button image URL section. This is where you can put in your own customized button image. So I'm going to upload a file for mine. I'm going to just use this donate button that I found on Google Images and I'm going to insert. So now all we need to do is scroll down and save the product. Before we move on to create a page which explains what the donation is for, we need to just take note of what our product ID is. So mine's 16, I'm going to remember that in my head, but if you wish you can put yours in a notepad. So now that I've remembered that my product ID is 16, I'll go to pages and I'm going to add a new page. So I'm going to give my page a title, I'm just going to say donations for ill children and I'll just give it a quick description. So now that I've given a short description, this is where we'll need to add in the donation button so that people can read the description and then choose to donate down further. So to create the donation button, we'll need to insert a short code. So the short code is located on the how to create a PayPal donation button documentation page in the Tips and Tricks HQ e-commerce plugins website. So we just need to scroll down this has actually got written instructions if you don't understand anything said in the video. But I want to just point your attention to this. This is our short code and all we'll need to do is copy it. Just make sure you've got it from one end right to the other with no added spaces. And now all we need to do is come in here and paste it straight in. Now that you've pasted in your short code, the last thing to do is just change the product ID. So before mine was 16, but yours may be different. So now that we've completed all the steps needed to make a donation button, all we need to do is publish it out. Once published, I like to just make sure that everything's working. So I'm going to come up here and I'll open this link in a new tab. And as you can see, donations for ill children. It's got the description and my donate button. As you can see, the customer can choose how much they'd like to donate and then they can donate with PayPal or donate with a debit or credit card. So as you can see, it's quite simple to make the donate button. You can add in extra details and images if you like, but for this demonstration, I've just kept it simple. You can also just use the donate button that comes with the plugin, um, which I'll quickly show you now. So if we go back up, just got to go back to my product, I'll manage products, just come here and I'm going to edit it off quickly. I'm just going to remove this and I'll go down and save my product. Now when I reload this page, you can see that this is the donate button that is automatically with the plugin. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope that now you're able to create your own donate button, but if you have any questions or queries, head over to the forum or you're welcome to email us.